Ethan Winters, that pose has to be questioned for eternity. What is that? Crossing the legs beautifully, like a be. Oh my God, Ro Rose. <laughs> What? Why is she floating? What? Wait. Oh my god. She's the chosen one. <laughs> she is the chosen. Floating. Oh fuck. Oh, oh, oh. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Alright, what's up guys? Single player Nacho here, back with Exploring Resident Evil Village, where we'll look at the entirety of the map, everything, little tidbits you wouldn't normally see in a regular playthrough. Here we are with headless Ethan Winters and his beautiful baby daughter, Rose. So my first hunch is we never really get to see Ethan Winters' house, or rather the Winters family house from the outside. You know, we're in here for the introduction, Chris Redfield shows up, Bugs up and there, I think to the left there, I just saw Chris's Humvee. Yeah, that's that looks very menacing. That's pretty sad for what's about to happen. You know, there it is. He's just parked right in front of Ethan's staircase. And maybe to no surprise, there's no real model to Ethan's house, sadly. You know, just like his head, his house is also nothing. And here we have a nice little close-up of what Mia's cooking up. A gorgeous, delicious bowl of deceit, because this is betrayal. This is not really Mia Winters. This is Mother Miranda par parading around as Ethan's wife. It's really shady thing to do, you know? Really just a beautiful setup here. Family time, you know, dinner. You wouldn't really expect there to be a humongous gorilla named Chris Redfield outside your doorstep. And that, that, there goes, there goes Mia, there goes your wife, she's been completely <laughs> annihilated. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> like, you know, you usually see this through first person, and it's kind of a brief scene, but they really hammered uh, Mia Winters with bullets. And it's necessary because, spoiler alert, this is not really Mia. Chris Redfield is actually a good guy, even though he's messing up Ethan's furniture. I don't know why. Uh, the model isn't moving there, like Ethan's model. Beautiful. Great work. Great work, Gorilla Redfield. His team's coming up here. I'm not sure if we'd see them uh, in the cutscene regularly. So Ethan's, just com <laughs> Ethan's just completely traumatized at this point. That's kind of like the first cutscene right there. So this is sort of a dreamish montage. We don't really know. Whoa. Okay, now we can see Ethan's house and... The surrounding areas, there's just like a wrapped around image of a park, I think. I mean, wow, that is trippy as hell, actually. It's a panoramic image of, I mean, I think maybe somebody can kind of track this down. I don't know where this is. It looks like London, <laughs> just my hunch. But we can kind of see some of Ethan's house now. And uh, the happy couple is arguing because, again, they did create a beautiful child, but it is a monster in the insects. And with that, we've arrived to the village officially. We can get a great look at how humongous this map is. I mean, just the first person view alone, the way you scan around, you can tell this is going to be pretty, pretty big and beautiful. But how much is there in actuality?
So maybe to no surprise, it's vast. And even the mountains have their own detailed peaks and valleys. As we zoom in here, you can see that it just keeps going and going. And we are, by the way, at this point, very, very far away from anything that you would be able to see from first person. And you'll see some curtains, I would like to call them, of fogs or snow effects hidden throughout just to kind of add to the immersion of, you know, this is a really cold place, very far away from anywhere that's comfortable, I would say. But it is just, it's gorgeous. Anyway, back to the carnage that we're actually playing. This is, this is a real deal. This is Werewolf City. And behind this curtain, I think you all know, there's an old man, very scared old man that has been dealing with these goddamn hairy beasts for a long time. And I'm gonna have to see if, he, if he's actually back here. Yep, there he is. Oh shit, <laughs> okay. Still, I knew that was gonna happen, but it still got me. And there he is, shushing up headless Ethan, who can't move and he can't speak. And you can hear a lot of werewolf activity outside. Lichen, I should say. And nope, I don't know, there's nothing. So he, this is just a crazy old man who's hearing stuff. Okay, so with the mod, I was able to turn off uh, this werewolf here, being able to see me or well, not see me, but just not being able to attack me, but I can attack it. So I can get better shots of cutscenes and other stuff, so the enemies won't bother me. Yeah, that's right. There you go. Get, get some of these Ethan bags. Ethan bag. Please, uh, comment down below. W Ethan bags. <laughs> okay, here we are with our first ambush, the village like an ambush, and I just want to kind of get a closer look at their beautiful faces. Wow. I mean, just, I want you to just imagine the smell coming from these guys. They live underground for some reason. They don't bathe for sure. And um, it's not a whole lot of them right now. Oh, there's one, actually. Let's get what he's up to. Yeah, he is just <laughs> scanning intently for no reason. They've started attacking and I have to absolutely see what is up with these arrows. They're flying all over the place. Thankfully, Ethan can't get hit right now because again, I have that invincibility mod and these arrows are most definitely not coming from anybody that's alive. Just invisible flying arrow that now see like that. <laughs> it's that's, that's horrible aim. He almost burnt down the whole village right there. This arrow just got stuck on a tree. Now it just goes to show the realism behind Resident Evil Village. No archers over here, actually, sadly. And the village is on fire. It's on fire. They are missing the shit out of Ethan Winters. That aim has to improve. And in the distance, we have the Urias Drak. <laughs> Slowly slowly menacingly approaching Ethan Winters. Look at that size comparison. Like even that hammer thing axe is bigger than Ethan, much bigger than Ethan. Those arrows just keep missing. I don't know if um, our friend is gonna attack us because again, it's impossible for him to do that with the programming, but he is uh, curious about this guy does not have a head, he's just standing still. But we love Ethan Winters in this channel. <laughs> it's just curious, curious. Damn, that's a big ass fucking hammer. Oh! Cutscene continues. Arrow the knee. Let's see how this works. So, okay, Ethan's model has stopped the animation. Okay, there we go. I got it to uh, play now. It's kind of like, oh my. Okay, some really strange. <laughs> okay, so he just teleported to. Uh, yeah, it's got to be like down here, I think. There we go. It's the horses. 
Damn, those horses look insane. I don't how do they train horses? They're just like ganging up, mobbing up Ethan. And there's the big guy. Again, he just kind of wanted a much bigger, better presentation. Killed some of his brethren on the way down. That's just how heavy he is. And there's Ethan in a very compromised position. And there, that is a lot of vape. That's a lot of vape. This guy's high 24-7. And, uh... I was kind of looking at the camera there for a second. That was kind of creepy. He's jumping. He's jumping. Until, uh... He's frozen. Horses are gone, and that is it. That's like the first real set piece of Village. So this part, I know for a fact that there's lichens like brushing around the hay or the wheat, whatever that farm. But they are hidden from the say That's definitely one of them moving around. What are you doing? What are you eating? What do you eat? Vegetarian. <laughs> lichens are vegetarians confirmed. This guy's just eating a pile of dirt. And he's savoring, he likes the dirt. Yeah, they're definitely just eating dirt. You gotta help the people that need help. It's Elena. I always found uh, her father to be a humongous boner. I don't like this guy, but you know, we gotta help them. They gotta progress the story one way or the other. And what do we have back? Yep, yeah, he's guy's hiding protecting his uh, other guests in the house and very sneaky guy I think this particular person has to be voiced by uh, Lucas Baker's voice actor it's got to be the same guy because they sound identical here's this woman Try not to get involved but she must she must do it As you probably already know, shit has hit the fan, and <laughs> here comes Elena's father charging at Ethan. Come on, dude, he doesn't have a fucking head. Come on. You're just... Wow. That looks pretty goddamn sick. <laughs> Shoot him. That's awesome. Elena, very underused character. I've seen some people argue that um, this section of village was um, was particularly cut, possibly. And damn, dude, that is a horrible way to go. <laughs> it's burning up down there. It's, look at his face. Are you really dead? We know he's not dead. He's gonna get up, but he is burning. Can't really move. And uh, oh, sh this is just. The aftermath, the rampage. That. Oh, she. Oh, 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 she's blinking. Oh! God damn it. We'll find a safe house to put you in until I can find my daughter. My hunch is she's in that old castle. No. That place is full of nothing but blood and death. Here comes Elena's father to, of course, spoil the rescue. I hate this guy. I really do. I, I don't understand why he would come back, even. Yeah, like, you're dead. Like, you just get it. Your daughter's mine now, dude. Oh shit. Then this is yeah. It's basically the end. We just gotta see if um, what happens down there. If there's anything, any indication that Elena survives? I know some people wanted to see some kind of DLC with her, like a side story. But yeah, he's definitely dead. Again. Oh, that looks pretty defi <laughs> pretty definitive. But uh, she's alive. Let's go. Yeah, she's she's good. She's good. It's really creepy, to be honest. But she is alive, confirmed in 2024. And let's see, he's oh he's gone for sure. He's definitely gone. <laughs> We were being introduced to Heisenberg and all these floating, levitating, metallic items. Oh damn, dude. 
Ethan is just getting backed up. <laughs> oh shit, he's got like a, a gear head. I mean, Heisenberg did give him a present, I guess, in the form of a head, an actual, you know, metal. It's not really that functional, but you know what? It's something. Just dragging Ethan. This looks fun, honestly. Here we are with the family, and the height difference is massive. Massive, uh, I, I can't even find a real comparison. Dude, look at tiny little Ethan, and look at Mrs. Milk Jugs gloating around, because she definitely wants Ethan. A little tiny snack for her. But it's, uh, it is pretty interesting. We never get to see where this location is. I don't think we return to it, even. Uh, at any point of the game. Whoa, what? It's like a light box. Wait a minute. Wow. <laughs> it's a illuminated box. The whole setting. I think that's just for uh, the effect of um, it looking like, you know, a foggy morning or something. That is crazy to look at, though. Look at that. Now this should be interesting. There's a lot of werewolves on either side of these uh, this corridor here. Now Ethan is fine. He's not gonna get hit by anything. I'm not gonna die. I just want to see what is the deal back here. Ill wolf feet. Disgusting. Unclipped. Yeah. See, like Ethan's Ethan's good, man. Just stay right there. Keep getting chopped up. Where are these guys coming from? And sure enough, it's an endless spawn of lichens. Just continuous lichen, lichen birth. More lichens and even more. Just keep coming. There's no end to them. We need to get the scale of this like cave system. And it looks amazing. Let's see. Yeah, no, it's just a lot of floating, floating rocks. It's weird to see, because, like, usually we have a bunch of, what wow, was there, floating torches? <laughs> yeah, usually it's like, yes, yeah, like, floating squares, cubes, and this is just a lot of random shapes. Look at that, look how it loads in. Okay. Here comes Mr. Arias Drac. Ethan has met his match. Dude, <laughs> this is not fair. This is not a fair fight. How does this go down, though? There goes Ethan. There goes Urias. I'm gonna slide down this thing. Don't have to worry about your head getting bumped. But oh, <laughs> it's just a live view of. A poop coming out of a butthole. Pretty much, that's what that looked like. Got some lichens back here. You know, they're they're a huge fan of Ethan. I've been waiting for you, Mr. Winters. How do you know my name? Anyone who is anyone has heard of the likes of you. <laughs> oh, Ethan. He's just like, what is this? What is this specimen over here? Where did he come from? And Holy shit. Oh no, dude. No, 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 no. No. It's a donut. He has donuts back here. <laughs> what the fuck is that? What is that hole? It like it it um concaves into his back with the hole in the middle. And then it's his ass like down oh gee, I why I don't want to zoom into that actually, but like you can see his see that's his ass. And then that's his back. His back has an asshole. That's my point. It's very strange anatomy. Of course, this guy's out of this world. I, okay. You know, just I'm just making sure. There's no fucking. <laughs> nah, bro. I I got I can't. I can't look under dresses. This is gonna. This is bad. Okay, I think we need a nice palette cleanser after that shit. We're gonna get a good scale of. The Dimitrescu Castle. It's a beautiful shots.
time for, sadly, I guess, some Ethan torture. That door opens and you will find three, some would argue, beautiful sisters, actually. They just happen to be made up of flies and, you know, they laugh a lot. And they gotta stop laughing because, oh no, poor Ethan, man. No. <laughs> this is like a gang. <laughs> the fucking vampire gang. Oh man, this looks actually more terrifying than the first person view you would get. And of course, we bring Ethan to the leader. The leader, aka the milk leader. I bring you fresh prey. You are so kind to me, Dolores. Damn. It must be awesome <laughs> being Lady Dimitrescu. You're just drinking wine, just waiting for your daughters to bring you food. And uh, just being huge, man. Like, you gotta just intimidate everybody. And here we go. I guess we're gonna have to see a lot. Look at poor. Look at. Look. look. Oh, I feel so bad for you, man. Oh, Lord. Oh. Oh! From this angle, it looks really suspicious. They will put him up. We will watch what it looks like. <laughs> it's like doing the Superman. And there, that's where Ethan will stay for now. And they will leave. They will be going through the tables. Floating, being even more creepy than their animation suggests. There they are, they're gone. Doing some other kind of vampire activity that we don't understand. Uh, nor will we. Now of course, Ethan doesn't stay here forever. We gotta get him out. Nice and slowly, there you go. Oh, God. <laughs> Can we please, like if, if anyone's watched the video this long, just comment down below. Justice for Ethan, because he has been through a lot, but it's just beginning now. It's just starting, if you will. <laughs> and this is a good spot to stop. Obviously, we have the huge castle to explore, a lot of different cutscenes with Lady Dimitrescu and the sisters. Leave a like, though, if you'd like to see that happen. And subscribe. And thank you very much. Have a good one. Like and subscribe for more horror content. And as always, stay safe.